Good day everyone. Welcome to statistics and probability subject. So let's start with unit number one, the random variables and probability distributions. The, con the content standards for this unit is the learners demonstrate and understand key concepts of random variables and probability distributions. We have here also the performance standards. The learner is able to apply an appropriate random variable for a given real-life problem, such as in decision-making and games of chance. The learning outcome for this lesson is the learner shall be able to illustrate a random variable, whether it is discrete or continuous variable. Second, distinguish between a discrete and a continuous random variable. And the last we have, finds the possible values of a random variable. Let's recall the definition what is, is statistics. It is the science of conducting studies to collect, organize, summarize, analyze, and draw conclusions from the given data. Another definition, we have here population. It is consists of all subjects that are being studied. Last we have here sample. It is a group of subjects selected from a population. So we have here an illustration. If this is the population, so the researchers was able to conduct an activity through a sample. From that sample, we can have or we can create an in, we can create a conclusion from that certain population that being studied by a researcher. Let's recall another definition: experiment. So experiment is any activity which can be done repeatedly under similar conditions. Another. Sample space, it is the list of all possible outcomes of an experiment. For instance, let's toss a coin once. Okay, so what will be the possible outcomes for that? It can be head or tail. Now, so that is an example of a sample space. Note, there are many ways on how to systematically list the possible outcomes of a given experiment. So we have here an activity. So as, a, as I've mentioned, we are tossing a coin three times. So what will be our sample space? Next, holding a breath for five minutes. Can you please do this no? in order for you to uh, ex experience so what is this um, lesson is all about? No? Apply it. Do it on your own. So we are, if we're going to toast a coin three times, so what will be the possible outcome of this? And uh, I, another, we have here holding a breath. So what will be the possible outcomes when we are holding, when we're holding a breath for five minutes or lesser than that? All right, thank you so much for your participation. For the second activity, which is the holding a breath, it's your assignment na lang or task na in your at home. Okay. So for illustration number one, if we're going to find the possible outcomes, now so let's say our X is the number of heads from a coin toast three times. So this will be the possible outcomes in our first toss so it should it can be head or tail for the second toss it is not necessary that in the first toss head the second toss is still head it can be head or tail and for the third toss ne necessary if it's 
head again for the second toast, still head for the third toast. But it can be also be a tail. Therefore, so this will be the possible outcome if we are going to toast a coin three times. And let be our X be the number of heads from a coin. Okay. If we are going to take a look at in the result, so this will be the outcome. Okay. Head, head, head. So there are three heads since our um, X here is a number of heads. Another H, H, T. So we have H, H, T. The number of heads is two. H, T, H. So we have here two. H, T, T. So the number of heads is one. T, H, T. The number of heads is two. T, 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 H, T. So we have number of the number of heads is one. T, T, H, the number of heads. The number of heads is one. And for the last possible outcome it is triple tail. So the number of heads is zero. Therefore, in this example, the possible values of x are zero, one, two, or three. Okay? I hope it's clear. For the second illustration, we have here holding a breath. So let's say, for instance, why is the time in seconds? Okay, a student can hold his or her breath. Okay, so in this example, the possible values of range between the lowest and the highest values recorded by the students. Hence, it is better to express the possible values as an interval such as y is greater than or equal to 15 but less than or equal to 90 seconds if the lowest and the highest values are 15 and 90 respectively. So those are the possible values of holding a breath if our y is equal to the time in seconds. Let's have here another definition. When you say random variable, it is a variable whose possible values are determined by chance. A, var a random variable is, typ is typically represented by an uppercase letter, usually X. Okay, while its corresponding lowercase represents one of its values. Variables can be broadly classified as either quali or quantitative variables. So when we say qualitative, it is a variables that can be placed in two distinct categories according to some characteristics or attribu attribute. Let's say for instance, male or female, that's quality. Okay? Height, the mobuog taas. Okay. The, the, the clear and the moreno skin sa atong Sa ato, ano? So that's quality. Next, quantitative variables are numerical and can be counted on ordered or rank. Okay. The best example to that is your grades. Okay. Let's say 93, 94, 95, 96. So you can rank it or order it from slow, smallest to higher grades or from highest to lowest. So that is the two classification of a random variables. For the quantitative variable, it is can be further uh, classified into two. We have here discrete and continuous. When you see discrete random variables are those data that can be counted. These variables can only take finite number of distinct values. Okay. Pariyaan ng isa ka box sa chalk. Oh, pila man nakabok na sa box. So let's say 30 pieces. Oh, so maihap pra. So that is discrete random variables. Okay. Pila ka buok uh, ballpen sa pila ka buok ballpen sa isa ka box. Okay. Uh, more uh, most likely 12 na ka buok. So that is discrete. Another, we have here continuous random variables can assume an infinite number of values between any two specific values. Okay, they are obtained by measuring. Example, continuous is, the best example for continuous random variables is the height. Why? Because 
dili man necessary nga kung 49 iyang height karon 49 na gihapon na pagka sunod na so that is uh, one example and that is obtained by measuring and using a tape measure so have here the um uh, illustration so variables is divided into two the qualitative and quantitative for quantitative variable it is divided into two again the discrete and continuous random variables so the following are examples of discrete random variables first x is the number of defective light bulbs among the randomly selected light bulbs okay let's say for instance in a classroom there are 10 light bulbs and uh, as you observe there are four defective so therefore it can be counted and that belongs to discrete random variables. Next, why is the number of flowers in a bunch as the ran at, at, at the randomly selected stores in Kitsarao? Okay. We all know that there are only three or four um, stores, flower shop in Kitsarao. So therefore, you can actually uh, count the number of bunch of flower flowers that the store have. Okay, So that's still discrete. Another, the number of students each day who will attend the online class discussion? Of course, we can actually count that. Since the number of enrollees per section is limited only for 40 students. So those are an examples of discrete random variables. Another, the following are examples of continuous random variables. Number one, X is the height of random selected grade 11 students. So sumaon na akong gi, ingon ga, nina. Another, the blood pressures of randomly selected CIT senior high school teachers. No, so, uh, blood pressure is also the best example for continuous random variables since it cannot be um, counted. Why? Because the uh, it can be measured only by simply using a uh, blood pressure nga, nga tools. Okay. So here the applications. So I want you to, sol to solve, try to solve or do it on your own if you really understand what is random variable is. Number one, suppose there are three cell phones are tested at a random. Let X be the random variable representing the number of defective cell phones. List all the possible outcomes and identify the values of a random variable X. Second, Two balls are drawn in succession without replacement from an urn containing five red balls and six blue balls. Let Y be the random variable representing the number of blue balls. List all the possible outcomes and find the values of the random variable Y. And last one, suppose a die is rolled. We let our Z be the random variable representing the number of dots shown on the top face. List all the possible outcomes and give the values of the random variable Z. Okay? So I want you to answer this for 15 minutes. Okay? Try to answer and the answer will be given on the next video. Thank you so much for listening and have a good day.